Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shave. It's nice to see you. It's nice to be back here in the bathroom uh, for another daytime shave in the afternoon. Um, yeah, no towel on the screen. I had to check there, although I can see it in the screen here. <laughs> uh, today's shave is, again, a bit of a mixture of stuff. I wanted to use this soap because I've not used it for a long, long time. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. And the, and the razor. Well, the razor is something else, but anyway. Uh, how are you doing? How's things where you are? Good, I hope. I hope um, life's treating you well. Everything's going good for you. Having some good shaves, enjoying life, getting on with partners and, st <laughs> and stuff like that. Right, the soap. Um, here it is. It's Mitchell's Wool Fat. Uh, yeah, this is it. Um, original 1893 formula prepared with natural lanin. L lanin? Lanolin. Soft, soothes, softens and smooths from Bradford in Yorkshire. Here in the UK. Yeah, it comes in a ceramic uh, bowl. There's the soap there. It's a, it's a lovely clean soapy scent. Very nice. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm, I'm going to actually buy another puck of this and just grate the both of them and keep them in this so it's like that all the time. So it's kind of hard to lather up in there like that. It rattles about and stuff, but anyway. Uh, what we're going to be lathering with the brush is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Starcraft with a 24 millimeter Roswell synth knot. I love this brush. Yeah, nice um, shape on the handle there. It's a nice long handle for holding. It's, if you've got big hands like I do, it's uh, it's nice and comfortable to hold. Uh, so that's the brush and the soap. The razor today is um, the Tatara Nodachi. Not used this for a while. Um, I got a lot of emails and messages on Instagram, um, other places I get messages, uh, WhatsApp, stuff like that. And people always asking advice, what do you think of this razor? Should I buy this? Should I buy that? I'm always a bit wary about saying, oh yes, you should definitely buy it because a lot of razors are pricey now. Um, prices are going up, especially this one. But I got a message from Sam. Uh, Sam is uh, on Instagram. He sent me a, a direct message, private message. And he says he's thinking about getting the Tatara Nodachi. Is it worth it? Should I get it? I don't know. What, what do you think? So I thought I would use it today in the shave. It's a three-piece razor made in Portugal, stainless steel, beautifully made. Uh, it is expensive. It is definitely expensive. There's the head. Uh, there's the top cap, which has the T for Tatara. Uh, the blade I'm going to be putting that is a second-use Permasharp. So here is here. I just write that on it so I know because it's a plain wrapper. Uh, Permasharp one dot. So this is the second use. So let's load the blade onto the Tatara Nodachi. Yeah, it's on the top cap. It's together like this. Yeah, this is uh, made in Portugal. Nice long thread on it. It has a little bit up there. A little. But it goes into the top of the head. Yeah, all um, Japanese stylings and names for these Tatara razors. This is the Nodachi. This was the second one to come out. That you also have the uh, Muramasa, which is the adjustable, and they also have the Masa Muni, which was the first one that came out. But um, yeah, very very good. What a research and development goes into these razors. Um, there's the handle there. Yeah. You've seen me use this before, but um, I'll talk about it going through the shave. There's a tiny bit of overhang, just sticking out of the ends there. Don't know whether you could see that. It's very, very minimal. Right, let us um, let me show you how I lather Mitchell's wheel fat. I would usually take it out and just do it in my hand, but I'll try it in the bowl to start with. Let's just uh, wet the brush. Give it one shake. So I keep it quite wet. And then I just go in like this. Let's see all that water coming out. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Let's see the pucks spinning around. <laughs> nice set. Uh, right, I'll just keep gathering the soap and ask you how your shades are going. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm jiggling here when I do this. You can't see it, but my, my tummy's like. <laughs> Why would you admit that on a video, Kevin? I don't know because I could feel it. I could feel it like wobbling about my little fat belly. <laughs> I don't know. 
I just say what I feel. I don't, I don't care. I don't mind. Right, here we go. So that's the brush well and truly loaded there. Look at all this um, lather spilling out here. Let's uh, put that on the face. Don't, uh, don't waste it. There's no point in wasting it. And we can take that out there and we can scoop that off the puck and stuff like that as the shave goes on. Right, let me just put that there safely. Yeah, it's a very slick um, soap, Mitchell's wool fat. Some people struggle to get a good lather from it. Um, I've never struggled to get a good lather from it. I, I have um, very soft water here, so maybe that helps. Um, but the trick, trick to this is, is to keep lathering it. I know some people are in a rush and but if you keep lathering it, if you keep adding little bits of water to it, you'll get a decent lather. Because I will now demonstrate. That was my uh, scientific research voice. Keep on lathering with the brush. Yeah, some people um, don't load enough soap onto the brush with Mitchell's wool fat or they don't load it for long enough so make sure you get plenty of soap on the brush keep working it just keep painting it painting it on like this but some people will just go with that that's far too pasty it's not good it's not good it's not going to give you any slickness or anything right so water Water. Water into the brush. Now you'll probably see it starting to go a bit airy and you'll think, oh no, I've ruined it, I've ruined it. Nope, just keep going, just keep lathering. Just keep working it, working it into the bristles. It's good for your skin. Yeah, just keep lathering it. Keep working it, keep working it. Ah, oh, Kev, it's too much fuss to get a good lather from that. Okay. It'll be worth it, it will be worth it. Look, you see how it's went airy and then it's now it's starting to, it's starting to go together again. Create a good lather, right. More water. More water. And if you don't want to waste this lather, like if you think, well, I'm not having a shave. I don't know why I said, if you don't want to waste it. So what I was going to say was, um, soap's relatively cheap. So just practice, just uh, practice your lather. Especially with stuff like this with Mitchell Wolf fat. If you're having trouble lathering it, um, just practice. Just, just if you've got a spare ten minutes, just practice lathering it. And some people, if they've got hard water, try using um, bottled water. Like just buy a buy a bottle of water. See if it helps with the lather. Right, a little bit more water. Yeah, look, here we go, here we go. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Give them the size. Good sign, it's, uh, it's falling off the brush, which means it's hydrated enough. <laughs> Look at this lather. Beautiful, beautiful soap. Look. Mm. Beautiful. Right, that looks good. That looks good. Right, let's uh, put some heat in the blade. Just a tar out Nodachi. So uh, here we go with this. 
you're smooth. Yeah, so Sam's question was, I'm thinking of getting a Tatara and a but it's an expensive razor. Is it worth it? Well, is it worth it? Uh, yes. The materials used and the, um, the design, stuff like that, and the, I know that the guys in uh, Portugal put a lot of time and effort and work into designing this, coming up with the designs, stuff like that. So, is it worth the money? Yes. Expensive? Yes. So the next question is, should I buy it? That's up to you. Some people think it's too, too aggressive. They prefer the um, Masa Muni or the Muramasa, but that's the Muramasa is even more expensive, I think. Uh, great slickness on that soap, absolutely amazing. Yeah, so should you buy it? I don't know, it's up to you. It's a lovely piece of steel, beautifully designed. It shaves fantastically well. It's a stainless steel, so it will probably last you a lifetime. It's very smooth. Everything I want in the razor is good. Right, first pass. Wow, slickness. Superb. Let me rinse, I'll come back for the second pass. Okay. Yeah, feels good. Right, back to this uh, brush. See that piece of lather flying there. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice scent on this. It's a nice clean. It's a. Uh, it's just really nice. Soapy lanolin. Um, so not for the vegans, but um, those of the you that have used it. Lots of people own Mitchell's wool fat. I've used it in the past, uh, it's a good soap, great soap. Right, cross growth with the Tatara Nodachi. The good thing about um, Tatara razors is that you can You can buy the different base plates. Uh, so you have the Nadachi, but I also bought the um, the Masamuni base plate, which uh, you can put on this, and it takes it, it makes it the same blade gap and stuff, and uh, as that razor, it all fits together. But obviously, depending on which uh, handle design you like, they're all slightly different. This is an Adachi handle. It's not slippy if there's no soap on it. Good grip, it has a little grip here, but the, the Masamuni has these dots kind of all the way down the handle. Yeah, so depending on what your thing is. Uh, handle as regards handle design. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's, a, it's a very smooth, efficient razor. There's not hardly any blade feel from it at all, but very efficient. Look, look at that, second pass done. That was quick. Right, let me rinse it, I'll come back for pass number three. Okay, back for the third pass. Yeah, there's a couple little um, weepers here. That's okay. Right, back to this brush with the uh, wheel fat. Now there's still soap in there, which I could, if I want, I could apply to my face, but I think there's enough in this brush. Yeah, so if you're struggling with the, the lather for Mitchell's wool fat, try it with um, some bottled water, because water does seem to be um, a lot of the trouble for some people. So we'll maybe try it with some bottled water, just buy some cheap bottled water from the supermarket or something. And then you can drink it afterwards, it's good for you, water. Right, third pass with the Masamune Nodachi for Sam on Instagram. Does anyone watching have this razor? What are your thoughts on it? Share them in the comments so Sam could get a better idea of what you think of it. Do you think it's worth it? Shaving is so subjective, isn't it? It's uh, it's like TV. Like some people will say something about a movie or a film and stuff, and uh, or TV show. Oh, that was I really loved that. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's all subjective, like art too. Some people like other art. This is getting a bit deep for a Kevy Shears video now, isn't it? Yeah. I don't like that painting. Well, I do. I don't like the Nodachi. Well, I do. stuff. Right, three passes. Wow, that feels really nice. Right, a quick rinse. Let's see what's left. Not much. <laughs> not, not much at all. There's a tiny spot there and that's it. Yeah, even that bit. Yeah, so as I say, it's a it's a, a mild, it's a an efficient shave using this uh, Nodachi. They recommend you uh, use a, a feather blade with this. I've used a feather blade with it. It is very good because it's so smooth. It doesn't feel harsh or anything. Right, that feels great. Excellent. Right, cold water rinse. I 
And uh, now for a Mitchell's wheel fat face wash. Yeah, look, plenty of lather left there. Right, rub this in, clean out the gear, rinse it off with hot and cold, and I'll see you for the post shave. Yeah, the, uh, the face feel from this is really, really good. Like the post shave feel, because of the good stuff in it. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Feels great. Right, post shave, which hazel, stricter, little shake. Good stuff. Yeah, skin, skin feels amazing. Uh, right, I've got a tiny little bit of this two phase left. It's a, I keep it in the, the cupboard under the sink here. There's a little bit left here. You're supposed to shake it to mix it. There's not much left in it. I have some uh, spare bottles. I bought some before it um, was discontinued, so I do have some. I'll get a good splash of that. See what the burn's like. A little bit on the neck. Yeah, this face feel from this again is um, really good because it's uh, glycerin based. Feels great. There's still a little bit left. This isn't always the same when you're getting towards the end of a bottle of uh, aftershave. It seems to go on forever and ever. It's just like, ah, come on, splash. I think that's went up. Um, and then to finish it off, I'm using this uh, Bear Man Soothe Siabian. It's a Scottish. It's made uh, by... Uh, who's it made by? There's a, there's a company in Scotland called Occult Skincare Company. Uh, yeah, it's good stuff. It smells like, um, I think it's like tea tree or something like that. It's a little pump. Three pumps. That's all you need. No, it's aloe vera. That's what it is. Yeah, a little goes a long way. And it's uh, good for the skin. And it's Scottish! You can't get better than that! You can! There we go. Clean shaven. Thank you very much for joining me for this lovely, lovely, comfortable, enjoyable shave. Right, let me show you what I've used. Soap. Uh, Mitchell's wool fat. Right, so I've cleaned out this. I've rinsed the soap. So what I'll do is I just leave it sitting like that on the lid for a day or two. Just kind of move it around a little bit so it's not sitting in the same place till it's dry. Put it back in there, then store it again. That does it. Uh, the brush was the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Starcraft. Good brush, great brush. 24 millimeter synthetic knot. The Razor, star of the shave really, along with the wool fat. Uh, the Tatara Nodachi. Yeah, I used this to share my thoughts with Sam, who sent me a message saying, should I get one? I don't know, Sam, it's up to you. It's, it is a lot of money, but is it worth it? It's definitely worth it. Uh, it's really well made, shade's great. Um, and as I said, you can buy the, the other base plates to kind of change it up. There's lots of information. I'll put links for everything on the Tatara website. Uh, but you can take a look at that, but yeah, really good razor. Inside the blade we used was second use Permasharp. Uh, three passes, pickups, little face wash, post shave was witch hazel, just the standard stuff. Uh, Nivea Two Phase and the Scottish, I'm just going to call it the Scottish Balm. The Scottish Balm. The Scottish people hearing that will say, yeah, that's right, Kevin, you are Scottish Balm. There's a, there's a saying here, people in Scotland, there's a, well it's not really a, a term of endearment to say, you're a bam pot, you're a Scottish bam, you. 
It just means you're kind of show off, loud mouth, yeah, one of these. Yeah, well, it covers a lot of bases actually. Asshole, stuff like that. <laughs> Scottish bam. Oh, look. Little weepers there. That's okay. They'll, uh, oh, one or two. They'll go. Two minutes. I'll be gone. Right. Thank you very much for today's shave. This was a short one, wasn't it? How long are we at? 16 hours. Wow. That's way short than the, the last one. No, they usually kind of sit about the 25 to 35 minute. That's okay. I'm not, I'm not in any rush. You shouldn't be in a rush to shave, even if you're filming it. Just film it, chat, enjoy it. Don't rush through it. Just enjoy it as you would normally. Right? Yeah. Okay, keep the comments coming. Uh, I love reading them, love answering them, interacting. Uh, it's all good. It's like chatting to old friends about shaving and stuff like that. Um, the New York trip is coming up in April. Uh, but I'll probably make another video. In case anybody wants to come along to Pasteur's, I'm going to be there uh, for a few hours on a Saturday. So if you want to, if you want to come along, say hello. We'll chat. We'll shoot the shit stuff. You know, all that sort of guy stuff. Mrs. Kevy will be there as well. Uh, so if you want to come and say hello and uh, yeah, we can talk and uh, it'd be nice to shake your hand and say hello. Um, Kevy, who are you? Oh, right. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. But I'll, I'll make a separate video because um, yeah, it'd be nice to, to, to meet some people uh, from kind of New York and sort of surrounding areas if you want to come down. But I'll get a specific time. I'll get things sorted out. And we'll take it from there, okay? Is that a deal? Yeah, right, okay, nice one. Right, I shall see you in the next video. Until then, take care.